Namaste, everyone. My name is Anna Price, and I teach at Yoga Moves with Anna Onsen Price on Facebook. I'm a certified yoga instructor, and I'm inviting you today to try bed yoga. Bed yoga is not a lazy, easy kind of class. It's, it's not something you do necessarily when you wake up or go to sleep, although you can. This kind of workout is awesome because doing yoga in a bed gives you a different kind of support. So it, it's softer in different places so that when you have muscles or joints that are a little bit tight, the bed, the mattress has leeway. So it has give and it supports you in the proper places, but also it makes the muscles work harder because since the mattress is soft, it's unstable. So the instability makes your muscles work harder, which is really awesome for you. So I'm gonna give you different moves. There will be warming up, there will be core, chest, back, legs, everything. And the nice thing about this is that you can do this anytime. Instead of having a few minutes of, of free time in between your meetings or work, and you have to go get your mat and lay it out and sit down on it. Instead, you can just leave and jump onto your bed and you're already ready to work out. So we're going to start with breathing. I'm just gonna grab one of my pillows and put it over my stomach. So it can be any size, it can be a little stuffed toy or a large pillow and all you're doing is relaxing your shoulders and your arms and then expanding the lowest part of your stomach against the pillow. So we inhale using the diaphragmatic breath. And when you exhale, it deflates the chest and the stomach and it pulls away from the pillow. a couple more breaths just to get us ready and bring us to the present moment and one last breath okay so we're sitting in a pose of ease and this is really good but if it's not comfortable for you you can start out in a potted balm if you like or maybe in a, in a cobbler pose, whatever it is that's comfortable for your breathing. And then we'll move on. And I'm gonna move sideways so you can see me against the length of the bed. This is figure four, because it looks like a number four. And it's very important because it helps, makes, it helps make the hamstrings more flexible. So what happens when you do this, on a firm surface is that it's more difficult, but because of the mattress, your hips go down and it makes it easier for you to sink. We don't want to hunch up, we wanna lengthen. So you bring the forehead towards the foot. You can be upright, you can be down low. The head comes down only when you're ready. And here you breathe in whatever position you found for yourself for this moment. and you come up slowly and with support, and we do the other side, just for a couple of breaths. Remove the fleshy part, which has tucked itself under to support your spine. Just pull it out and come back down. Maybe one side isn't as flexible as the other. Remember to be upright with your heart sailing forward rather than scrunched up and hunched. You can even support with a nice big pillow and you're still stretching your hamstrings. Come down only when you're extremely comfortable. Stay and breathe. And when you're ready, support and come all the way up. This is really great because flexible hamstrings help your lower back. Tight hamstrings can help injure your lower back. So we absolutely don't want that. Okay, now this pose is, I call it a lightning bolt. It's, it's like you're in a Z. Um, other people call it a thunderbolt and that's perfectly fine. 
and it's really good because if you do this against a hard surface there's no give under the tight parts and the tight parts would be the ankles and maybe the knees but this is amazing for helping the knees when you have tight and painful knees this is a great help to help stretch them out but gently so you can sit here as long as you want the toes should not overlap they should both have space both sides both feet and you can just relax a bit now if it's too much for your knees you grab another pillow and you put it under the hips see having all these pillows around you is so helpful and this is awesome it's great for posture helps you really relax and lengthen and when you're done we already warmed up for this next one it's a child's pose. Child's pose can be done in many ways. And it's perfectly comfortable to do it on a bed because there's just so much softness and support at the same time. This is really great for the legs and the hips. And you can put your arms wherever you want. It can be all the way behind and relaxing at the shoulders. It can be supporting you. It can be stretched forward whatever is best for you couple of breaths and you come up slowly with support and when you come out of the position don't come out suddenly come out of it slowly but we're gonna use this position to, to do a sequence this sequence is amazing and you can keep repeating it over and over again just gonna adjust a little bit and we're starting with the poses that we've already done so we start with a child's pose bring the arms out and come into a cat tabletop to cat really good for strengthening the quadriceps or thighs inner thighs the core, the glutes, the hips, and from a cat, come up into a cow. Does not have to be a big arch in the back. It depends on how your back feels. And when you're done, bow. And then roll back. And we do it again, rolling into tabletop, coming into a cat. And a cow and then bow, roll back. We'll do just one more. You can do as many as you like. And bow, exhale coming up, come back to child's pose. Okay, and for the last one, this is a sphinx. A lot of people, find it uncomfortable to come into a cobra so a sphinx with the legs relaxed is really great for for stretching the core opening the chest and the shoulders you can put your palms down you can bring your hands together you can fold your arms and lean in case you want a little bit of support. If it's bothersome for the neck, you can lower the head. Take a couple of breaths in this position. Really great for the lower back. And when you come up, put the hands down, push back into child's pose. When you're done at the end of the class or however long you want to work out you can come back into your pose of ease or your potted palm bring that pillow back to your stomach and do your breaths again diaphragmatic breath so don't lift the shoulders when you inhale instead expand both the chest and the stomach and then deflate both the chest and the stomach a couple more breaths before we're done
I'm so glad you were able to join me today for, for this bed yoga practice and a heartfelt namaste.